Hello everybody, welcome, happy new year. Um, so glad to be back online for 2021, doing some online workshops. Um, still trying to figure out this year if we're gonna be doing some face-to-face -face workshops just with all the restrictions and things like that. But for the time being, we are doing it all here on Facebook and it's actually been quite fun. So um, I, I will keep on going with that. But today I wanted to share with you just a few little tips and insights into whether you actually need an interior designer. So uh, whether you are building a brand new home or if you are renovating, or even if you're wanting to uh, redecorate or refurnish um, an area or your whole house, uh, an interior designer can really help out. Now, there are a number of ways we can actually do that. So um, lots of clients come to me after they have started doing a bit of research and maybe they're renovating and they're doing, um, you know, going down around to a few different showrooms, just seeing what tiles are out there, bench tops, tapware, and then they're realizing, okay, there is a lot of choice out there. How do I pick, you know, I just want white walls, you know, but you're giving me 50 different paint options here. So it can be very, very overwhelming. And sometimes it, you may not know, even know where to start and what will actually work for your home. Um, some other people may not um, understand or know the room layouts, you know, in terms of cabinetry design, maybe you're renovating your kitchen or your bathroom and you don't really know what layout will suit best. A designer can really help you out in that form because we can look at the space that you've currently got um, and chat about your budget and whether um, that budget allows uh, knocking down walls, or if it means, you know, working with the existing space you've got, and it could, could be a really um, easy cosmetic makeover. So that's where we can help in that department. Um, whether you are wanting to restyle or refurnish um, rooms in your home, an interior designer can help you determine what style will actually suit your home, because it's one thing loving all these images on Pinterest and saving all these images on Instagram, but it may not actually work with your home or with your lifestyle. So a designer can really tap inside your mind and, and look at your Pinterest photos, see what you're drawn to and work out what is gonna be the best look for your home and for your lifestyle. As designers, we also have a, gr you know, a great relationship with lots of amazing trade um, and retail suppliers. So that means not only you're gonna get a really bespoke look that's something a little bit different that you don't see from Freedom and Ikea, you are getting, you know, some designers like myself share trade discounts with clients. So um, lots of uh, clients see that the fee it costs to hire a designer, you get that back you know, tenfold with the savings that you get on purchasing furniture through designers. Um, so that's another great advantage. And we can also help out with um, seeing what furniture works best for your space, um, ordering it all for you, um, and arranging all the deliveries and installs as well. So for some people that really don't have time shopping on the weekends, um, you know, we can do all that for you and in and, and, you know, make sure that you can come home to a beautiful home that you truly love and that really reflects your own personal style rather than something you see in a magazine or online. So when you're building and renovating, yes, we can definitely come out um, and have a look at all the different showrooms with you. But because we have, you know, great relationships with tiles, tapware suppliers, flooring, we can, you know, really um, funnel the choices down for you and just give you a few options rather than bombarding you with so many um, different alternatives that are out there. And we also have great product knowledge around different materials and finishes too. Um, for example, you know, maybe you're wanting a laminate bench top, but you know, depending on the area that it is, it's probably not gonna last long. So maybe stone is gonna be something that is better suited for you. So it's sometimes a lot easier to spend that money up front 
um, because it's going to really save you money in the long term because you're not having to change things due to it being cheap um, or not really um, you know easy to maintain or to care for. Um, you know, even choosing. Uh, paint colors, for example, say, you know, how many times have you tried picking out some paint colors, you know, using some samples and it not turning out the way you're envisaged. If you paint your house to, you know, in a wrong color, that's a 10,000, up to a $10,000 mistake right there without doing that proper research um, and really, you know, uh, giving it some really good thought. So having a designer with you during the planning stages is going to save you a lot of money because we're able to tell you what color is going to suit your home, test out some sample pots, you know, you know, ensure that you're happy with the colors in different types of rooms with different natural light, because that can really play a really big part with colors. Um, and so, you know, you don't have to paint the whole house again, just, just because, you know, you've, you've made a, a really simple mistake. So not only can we save you lots of time, we can save you lots of money as well. And also um, talking about costs, lots of designers, um, you know, to, to work with someone like myself, we start off by offering an initial design consult. So what that is, is I charge $350 for up to 90 minutes to come over to your home and have a really good chat and really good understanding about what it is that you're working on, whether it's a new build, whether it's a renovation, or if you're wanting to furnish your home. Let's look at your space. Let's see what you like, what you don't like, how you actually want me involved, because that can really determine uh, the design fees. You know, if you just want me to consult and just give you some, some tips and hints, that's fine. But if you want me to hold your hand and really help you, give you confidence and, you know, take the lead for you, um, that, that's a different sort of uh, design fees there. So that initial design consult first up is great because with all this information, we'll take lots of photos, we'll look at your Pinterest boards, we'll look at your plans, I'll take lots of measurements. And with all that information, I can then go away and provide you with accurate design fees for your project. So um, that consult is great because we can also start off with some, uh, you know, it's a great brainstorming session as well. Even if you don't want to go ahead and proceed further on down in the process, that initial design consult is great just to get a few little tips to get your project off the ground. Maybe you've just been thinking about it for a while and just really unsure and then you just put it on the back burner and we'll, we'll do it another time. But by having a fresh set of eyes into your home, we can give you some great tips that you may not have thought of before. So, um, you know, we can give you some far out there ideas, but it's all about your budget and it's all about your lifestyle and what you actually want in your home too. So um, it's really important to give us lots of information at the start so then we can better, um, we can provide you with, with much more accurate feedback um, and design ideas that are better suited for you. So let me know if you've got any questions at the moment about the process or about what we can actually do, pop them in the comments below. Um, and even after, if you're watching this replay, pop in um, a question and I can get back to you um, with any of those um, questions for you. But um, then after um, that initial consult, you know, we then go away and, and put together some design fees for you. Talk about the process because every design project is different. You may may want to use me um, differently, you know. Um, so those design fees and the process um, is quite different um, to each project. So um, that is pretty much it. I'm going to leave it there because it is lunchtime. I don't want to take up too much of your time. But if you are interested in finding out more about the initial design consult, I'm going to pop um, a comment below or above, depending where this um, where this video is. Um, and if you want to book in a consult, there is a button, uh, there's a booking page to book in your consult. At the moment, we're getting really busy for, um, you know, Jan's just about over. So Feb and March are filling up quite quickly. So if you are going to be renovating or building, make sure that you 
contact an interior designer at the planning stages because the earlier on you get a designer, um, the much easier it is to make any changes or to start making those selections rather than when you're on site and your builder is screaming at you to you know hurry up and make those tile decisions. Um, you know, having all those selections done a lot earlier on saves a lot of headache and a lot of time. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed um, and you know, this has answered some of your questions and I look forward to chatting to you soon. See ya.